Welcome back to GTU. We are learning the true meaning of the holiday season in the sponsored interview. That's right. Best-selling author Richard Paul Evans is joining us now to talk about his new Christmas book called A Christmas Memory. We are so happy to have you in the studio. I'm How glad to be are back. you? I'm doing great, thank you. Let's start off with the book. Let's dive right in. Tell us All what right. it's about. Oh my gosh. It, it, well, it's about it comes from my childhood. So this is, uh, you, I've been quoted saying this is my favorite of all my books. Wow. It's not my book, it's, it's my life. And so it's, it's based on as a young boy when I first moved to Utah during a very hard time and about an old man who used to watch out for me named Mr. Foster. And so um, it's just gone crazy. I mean, the pre-orders of this are three and a half, no, four times what my last book was. 22,000 <laughs> 22, copies, copies before it came out. Yeah, pre-ordered. Wow. And so when you talk about your life mm -hmm. story, you are someone who's written dozens and dozens of books, 40 plus, mm -hmm. right? This but is my this 45th. one, 45th, but this one means so much to you. Well, this one feels like the Christmas box. And when I wrote this, it was last year, I was very sick. I had pneumonia and COVID. So I was in bed and my friend passed away from the same thing. And you know, two in the morning, I'm thinking, I might not make it, I'm very, very sick. And, um, and then this book started coming to me and I had Carrie bring me a notepad and I wrote this in bed. Really? Thinking I probably have COVID brain, it's probably gonna be awful. And two months later, I read it. I thought, this is the best thing I've ever written. It is so powerful. I started to just cry. Well, everyone I gives it to at the end, they, it opens up their hearts. The head of editorial, Simon Schuster, said, this book is magic. I went to read the first chapter. I just finished it. I'm sobbing. She goes, I've never had a book move me like this. So but it's about compassion. I had someone who just lost her sister told me it brought her peace after reading it. There's something magical about this book which is why I'm just, I mean, the sales are off the charts. I've had a movie offer, it's just going crazy. Oh my goodness, well, we are so excited for you. There's so many great things happening right now. Let's talk about Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving Day, my first feature film. Congrats. Thank you, and it's so funny because you had the same reaction everyone does. It, uh, it's the Noel Diary starring Justin Hartley, and you said, he's so handsome. He is very handsome, and not mad about that. <laughs> and Karen and I got to do a walkthrough, a Hollywood walkthrough, and he was there. And I said, you're so handsome. And he, go, and he goes, so are you. And I said, no, you're like claw your eyes out handsome. I say, I say your name and women always go, oh. So. It's like and this hush of ah. Uh, I know, And his crazy. name has heart in it. It's Hartley, Hartley right? Yeah. So yeah. I love that he turned it back on you and said, well, so are you. Did you love that moment? It was, it was yes, my wife was there. So I was like, Carrie. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there's a lot to celebrate with you. Why now, oh my, do you think? There know. are movie offers here and there, and sky's the limit. So many wonderful point. things are happening right now. I, I don't know, but my feeling with this book was like, I didn't even look at the commercial success of it. It didn't matter to me. It's like, this is an important book to me. And I, it's like the people that read it, and I'm having people, they don't call and t talk about the book, they call and talk about their lives after they read it. And it's like, that's how you know it's powerful, but it's like my first book, The Christmas Box, was magical. It became mm -hmm. one of the best-selling books of the century, according to USA Today. And it's like, this one, when I, oh, I read it, it's like, this is just like the Christmas box. Wow. It feels different than my other books. It seems like you were in a vulnerable state of mind, also physically, right? Yeah, and you were able to write this, and now it seems the reaction is incredible. So yeah. do you think this might be made into a Yeah, movie? we had a, we had, I had a movie offer. I turned it down. And uh, <laughs> wait, well, what, what, you had a movie offer? I'm like, this is why. When I told I sold the Christmas box before it was a bestseller, okay. right? And they paid me thirty thousand dollars for it and went on TV. The year later, the president of Paramount tried to get it at any price. It would, I lost millions of dollars. But that's the bigger thing is it would have been in every theater in America. Wow. And so when he offered this one, I said, No, I'm waiting. And he goes. You have a strong black character in this book. Hollywood is hungry for that. He goes, Denzel Washington is a friend of mine. Can I take it to Denzel? I said, okay, dude, you had me at Denzel. If you get Denzel, <laughs> I go, yeah, God, yeah, just get Denzel. Right? Well, congratulations. Get the book. I think oh. everyone and there's yours. needs it. Oh, this my right. God. This is yours right here. Thank you. And oh. it would be a gift for everyone yeah. under the tree. Get the yeah. book right now because it will be number yeah. one. Blink well, of an eye. And it's number what? two right I now. It's, and I negotiated for it to be less. They were going to raise the price up, and they look, they lower the price because I negotiated. I said, I'd take less because I thought people would want to share it. Hey, we yes. adore you. RichardPaulEvans.com. If you want the book, you want more information, you can also go to our website. Thank you so much. Thank you much. so much.